Please see that all the salespeople in your store hear and study this record. Will you call them together right now, please? The purpose of this special Victor record is to help you sell home recording as a feature of the new Victor instrument. There's a right way and a wrong way to sell home recording. It can be made a powerful factor in instrument sales and profits, or if improperly handled, it can be discounted as a selling factor. In the first place, don't allow yourself or your customer to expect too much of home recording. The natural attitude will be to expect records as good as standard Victor recordings, because people have been taught by Victor advertising to think of quality when they think of Victor. Explain that home recordings made by amateurs under haphazard conditions and with very simple equipment can hardly be compared with Victor records made by the best talent in the world in laboratories costing hundreds of thousands of dollars with recording experts and costly equipment. Then, emphasize the fun of making your own records. Don't be too serious about it. Get this idea across to your customer. Mrs. Jones, these little inexpensive records are really snapshots of your voice. You can have more fun with a $2 Kodak than you could with a $3,000 portrait camera. And in just the same way, you can enjoy Victor home recording. You don't expect a snapshot to equal a portrait, but you'll have a great deal of pleasure in making snapshots. You could follow up this idea by pointing out that home recording serves almost exactly the same purposes in its field as a snapshot does in its own way. Every party, every incident that is pleasant to remember can be made permanent with home recording. The children's birthday parties, babies prattle, youngsters playing their first piece on violin, piano, or other instrument. Family gatherings and similar occasions all cry out for recording. Weekly letters to young people away at school, birthday and other greetings can take the far more effective and personal form of Victor home recordings. Specially amusing bits from favorite radio programs offer another opportunity for home recording. Now turn the record over and get some more ideas. Now, of course, the way to sell any Victor instrument is by demonstration. To demonstrate home recording, you must have ready, right on the tip of your tongue, some reasonably interesting remarks. Unless you are prepared, you will be awkward and tongue-tied when you pick up that microphone in front of a stranger. I've tried it, and I was as dumb as a wooden Indian. So be prepared. When you get to the point of actual demonstration, you will naturally ask the customer to make a record. The chances are ten to one that he will refuse at first and say, no, you make one. Here's a suggestion for your demonstration record. This is one of the first Victor home recording records made in Name Your Town. It is being played on the Victor Radio Electrola RE57, which combines the world's finest radio with its five circuits screen grid radiotrons, and micro-synchronous tuning with the new Electrola, the instrument that brings records to life and life to records. I am presenting this record to name your prospect as a souvenir of his or her introduction to the new 1931 Victor Radio. This is Mr. John Adams of Adams Music Store, 581 Main Street. Memorize this little talk so that you can recite it without hesitation. Remember that the customer will take it home and play it for his friends, thus giving you a free and valuable advertisement. Remind him that the record can be played on the orthophonic Victrola as well as the Electrola, provided the special needle for home recorded records is used. Then get the customer to make a record on the reverse side of the recording blank, 
We have supplied you with a card on which a number of suggested talks for the customer are printed. The prospect will not hesitate to read a message, even if he can't think of an original one offhand. Show him the appropriate copy for him to read and the big kick he will get out of hearing his own voice come back to him will have a powerful influence in getting a sale. If he says it doesn't sound like his voice, remind him that no one knows what his own voice is like, which is a scientific fact. In recording radio, select the quietest station within range, remembering that station noises and static, as well as the music, will be recorded. Sell home recording hard, but don't oversell it. As far as it goes, it is a masterpiece, but it isn't the heart of the instrument. It's an extra dividend Victor is paying to those who buy 1931 Victor Radio. <laughs> 